happened in Minnesota with him. And I, I always thought that uh, it wasn't about weight with Pat. I, I really didn't. I thought that this move was going to go really well. Um, I thought also I foresaw this matchup and I thought that it would play in Pat's favor when I was talking to him about it. And uh, it, it, I guess I guess for me personally, it was kind of cool being uh, along for the journey with that as far as discussing it and how we felt about it, but then also being overseas with them. And I, you know, just like I, I just thought it was a great move. Um, I like to just pat to talk a little bit more about the what were what were some of the points or I mean other than overseas being the big one what were some of the points where you're like yeah this is this is the right move um, and if the team wouldn't have been made this year would it would it still have been a you know would you still have thought of it like yep uh, this is where I belong because I, I think so I just would like you to talk on that a little bit more. Yeah, it's funny you brought that up. I remember those conversations in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, man. So like, yeah, five feet from where I'm sitting right now. But uh, <laughs> awesome. we actually talked about the matchup as well, and you know, it's, you know, in your head, you think it's it's a good matchup, and uh, you know, you have confidence in yourself, but you never know what's going to happen. You don't know how you're going to react to you know wrestling bigger guys, and you usually do. And um, yeah, I mean. I guess obviously the meddling overseas in those tournaments, that was a good confidence booster training over there. Um, coming over, coming to camp and wrestling with bigger guys there. Um, and then, uh, you know, winning Schultz was another, was another one. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of from there, I was kind of locked in, you know, like I don't yeah. know, staying up now, you know, it's especially time wise. I'm like, it's too much to try to cut down now. And, and uh, I was feeling strong, and Travis Rutt, uh, my strength coach, um, had put us on a really good plan. I think he kind of snuckily put some weight on me this summer without, because uh, <laughs> I think he wanted me to go up without me even knowing. He's like, oh, yeah, we'd be doing the same thing. It would just be just making you food. Like, All right, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no. So, but I got we we did a pretty good lifting cycle last summer, and um, that was really good. Built a good base, and I think it kind of. Kind of pulled it from there. Um, and I imagine there's uh, like really an ongoing sport. Sorry. What's that? I was going to oh. say, I imagine there was an ongoing conversation with how can Paulson, because I know there always is about st- decisions like this. What yeah. was Paulson saying? Yeah, because you know, I've, also, I've also had Paulson, you know, make fun of me for when I was going up to 98. Like, of course, supporting it. But uh, we've also talked to him about how, like, you got to have so most medalists have so and so body fat and all this, and I, I, I disagree that that matters. But what was what was the conversation with, uh, you know, Brandon and Hulk about when it came to that kind of stuff? Um, we really laid out the options. Um, Hulk definitely leaned towards going up, but it wasn't like, uh, you know, it's always my decision. For both you know, I didn't, I didn't cut weight. I didn't cut any weight. And, uh, I did. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but what I did, I, I talked to a nutritionist. I had, uh, Travis grab some skin pal calipers and stuff. And we did the numbers and, uh, it just made more sense to go up in the end. You had those words after match two, you took me 10 years and 10 tries to get here. Now that you're on this world team, do you see this, uh, dude, I don't want to get like mad existential over it, but are you very much like locked into the present? Like as far as what you, your immediate plans coming up training wise and everything else, or have you taken stock, you know, just giving a head nod to the previous years that, you know, which we've documented kind of in a pretty thorough manner as far as, you know, 55 turning into 59 and then you adapting to 59 and then all of a sudden they're bringing 55 back and then you went through what you went through last year. Like, have you taken a moment yourself to just be like, wow, you know, like this is it. Like I, I, I've done it, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, um, most of it is when I'm kind of by myself, um, either at the house or driving around. Um, you know, I kind of get like this, you know, I finally get it feeling. Um, it's definitely a big relief. You know, the biggest goal is I, I want to get a world title, you know, 
I want to and I need to. I, you know, I feel like I need to more than I want to. Um, and and with those 10 years and 10 tries, to me, the biggest relief of, of accomplishing that small stepping stone um, to get into the World Championships was, you know, I, I after all, you know, a decade, after all these years, I, I constantly think about when I was younger. And um, at this point, I think I was in, I want to say like sixth, seventh grade. Um, I got both my parents working two jobs at the same time to get me to, uh, you know, national events and, and tournaments. And, and that's always been, you know, I'm 29 years old and, you know, that it was so long ago, but I still hold on to that, you know, that thought of, of both my parents working, you know, two jobs at the same time to be able to support me to, to train and get to where I am. So it, it, it's a relief and, you know, definitely like a, a big accomplishment um, when I think back to, you know, younger Max and what um, my parents did for that younger Max to get me to where I am. And I don't take that stuff for granted. And when I compete, I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for my family and my coaches, my teammates, you know, that's my biggest motivator. Every time I'm practicing, I try to give it all, like everything I have, you know, most of the time I'm, I'll dry heave a lot just to make, you know, I get to that point to make sure I know I'm pushing myself. 